what you see in front of you is um, a rare type of plant. Uh, this is known as the Titan Arum or the corpse flower. Um, it is native to uh, Sumatra and Java in Indonesia. And so what's so rare about this? Uh, this particular plant right here is at least 15 years old and this is the first time it's flowering. And so one, the longevity or the, the time it takes for this to flower. And two is the size, all right? Uh, this, is, this plant will produce the largest inflorescence in the world. And so this one is certainly not the largest one, the specimen itself, but the plant can produce up to 15 feet uh, in height. In addition, um, one of the other common names I should have mentioned is the corpse flower. And that's what a lot of people know this plant by um, because it stinks. When this opens, um, it'll begin to smell like rotten flesh. So, uh, and it, that lasts for about 24 to 48 hours. So, the size, the smell, uh, are two major uh, interesting things about this plant. So, the other interesting uh, thing about this plant in general is, oftentimes if you've seen these, folks may have seen this flowering in uh, Chicago Botanic Garden or um, Denver Botanic Garden, actually three years ago in Winfield, Kansas at Southwestern University. We had a Titan Arum flower there. Um, this plant has leaves and flowers at the same time. So this here is an individual leaf. It's, so it's not a tree or a tree trunk. That's an, this whole structure is a leaf. And so we have a, a flower and leaves together, which is, you don't see that very often. Oftentimes it's just one or the other. So um, grows relatively fast. Uh, we're looking at about a five or six week old flower here right now. Um, and we're now playing the waiting game uh, this spade, this outer portion right here, should open relatively soon, we hope, although I've been saying that since Friday afternoon. So, uh, it's generally, there's not a lot of these around in cultivation, uh, generally at your larger botanical gardens or uh, conservatories. And so, there's certainly some information out there, but not a lot. And so, uh, there's no definitive uh, timeline uh, for every, uh, for all these plants that from day one to day 30, we'd know we'd have a flower or something like that. So it's a little bit um, uh, irregular for each individual plant. So we're in the waiting game. We're just waiting for it to open. That's, it'll be much more spectacular than it is. Um, and then it'll certainly stink up the place a little bit too for 24 to 48 hours. So.